Welcome back to the Sly 2 Ban of Thieves 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. In this part, we are starting episode 7. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the northern lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Bassan could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Sly Cooper and the gang in Menace from the North, eh? Yay, we're in episode 7. Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blip is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blip. But before we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off Jean Bisson. Time is short and we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. But before we take the recon photos, we are going to go creep butt hunting in episode 7 and fail at the start of the part. 30 creep bottles to collect again in episode 7, Menace from the North A. Eh? Make sure you don't get into that mission because you don't want to do that before you've got all the creep bottles. And they are located around the area. This is probably the second hardest um, creep butt hunting. Some people say that the Contessa people are hunting are very hard. Sorry, just moving in the sofa. But I don't think those are very hard. I think the hardest one is the last group are hunting in episode 8 because that's the last episode. Some people think that's very easy but I find it very hard. And this, in my opinion, is the second hardest. And yeah, it's just my opinion. That's what I think. So this is the second hardest for me, but I did manage to do it like I always do. Not bragging or anything, but I just always manage to do it. That's just the truth. And we're also going to do the recon mission in this part as well, and not only the clue about hunting, so don't worry about that. I am going to do more than... I'm just hiccuping. More than just the clue about hunting in this part, so don't worry. And the same guards are still here, and this is the second episode that we have um, John, Bisho John Bisson featured as the villain. And this time, we are going to steal the clockwork talents from him, which are the claws from the owl, basically, from clockwork. I was going to call it something else, but I don't think that's... Uh, appropriate to call it before you know about it because that would be a spoiler and I shouldn't talk about that right now because that will just ruin the game for some people so I just I should just shut up about that and keep talking about what I'm doing and stuff and as you can see beers are here I think you have only one beer here so not as many beers as in um, episode 6 you had two beers there but now you have one beer well this beer is like 
it's like in the middle of the lumberjack camp and each time a guard walks past here it gets killed by the guard uh, the bear and it's quite funny to knock the guards off uh, the safe places and um, down to the bear because it will just eat them and kill them and stuff and I find that to be very funny so I'm apparently a very violent person but I just think that's very funny for some reason I don't know why 15 out of 30 pew bottles we're halfway there so that's great great for me but yeah this episode is one of the best episodes in the game this is the most loved episode um, by most people it's like the most popular of the episodes among the Sly fan base and I agree it's very very good yeah I think it's very very good it's one of the best ones I really can't decide what's my favorite episode and stuff and people are always asking me what's my favorite episode in Sly 2 and I always answer something but after I answer it I'm like is it really that episode because I don't really know anymore I love them all I love each and every one just the same. That's really cliche saying that, but it's true. It's really, and each time I do that, I get knocked over by these things. It's really annoying and it really bugs me. But yeah, soon got 20 glue bottles. We've got 19 now. So it's going alright, I guess. But something I wanted to talk about is. I've just come home from my grandparents and I've just um, got to know that we're actually going to go somewhere else as well. In a few days we're going to go to Sweden. It's not, we're not sure when we're going to leave yet because we're still looking at hotels so we're going to leave in a few days so I will like try and do episode of something before I go and tell you about that I'm gone. So you're not wondering because I want you to know where I'm at, I where I am and if I can upload and stuff. But yeah, I am going to go to Sweden. I've been to Sweden like so many times and to Denmark. And it's so annoying because I want to go to other countries outside Scandinavia. Because that's just what I want to do. But one of my favorite like cities outside uh, Scandinavia that I've been to is Prague. We actually have Prague in the, the Sly 2 game as well with the Contessa. But I really really loved Prague. It's episode 4 if you're wondering. I really love Prague. It's very beautiful there. It's very very beautiful and I really loved it. So yeah I really love that. So if any of you guys are from Prague then I love your city. So, just telling you that, I guess. Now, where are the rest of the glue bottles? Here are one glue bottle. Doing 6 out of 30. Can I just get 30 already? So, can be done with this? I'm finding it very annoying uh, looking for glue bottles because I just want to get it done, I guess. Yeah, something else you can steal from the guards are gold bars. they are got a medium gem, but you can get large gold bar, medium gold bar, and small gold bar. But the large gold bars are probably one of the best things you can steal from the guards. The best places to steal is either this episode, episode 7, or episode 8. I can't really remember. It's not like it's the best treasures at the last episode. It depends. I think it's either this one or episode 8 though, so count me on that, I guess. We've got over 700 uh, coins, we need to get more if you want to buy some more um, gadgets and stuff, because I want to get them by the end of the game, basically. Not many people get all the gadgets for the end of the game, but I kind of want to. And now we are actually at the highest point of the episode. But I'm just going to go with that. I I'm missing one clue bottle, but I'm going to go back to the safe house with the treasure. 
and this has a time timer on it so get it back in like I, I didn't really see how many seconds it was but get it back had 10 seconds left that was it was okay I nearly got 2,000 coins but I spent some of it I know where the last and 30th clue bow is right now but I guess it took me a little little bit more time to find it not that much more time really maybe like 30 seconds or something or 45 seconds to find it but I know where it is right now so I'm just going to go and find it I guess if I'm that fast at getting it another thing people are been asking me about is what my accent is I don't really have an accent I just I'm from Norway so I'm not born with the English language I guess but I can speak English quite well I guess so I just talk I guess but I don't really have an accent I just talk English I don't know it's a, it's a little bit British I guess because as I ask and stuff so it's a little bit more British than American I guess if you really want to get a name of an accent on it but there we have 30 out of 30 blue bottles we can break into the vault right now but we're not at the we're not at the safe right now because the vault or the safe whatever you want to call it is actually in a mission in this episode so we'll just have to break into it in a mission and we'll just have to wait until we get into that mission to break into it so but first we're going to go in and start the recon mission for episode 7, Menace from the North A. And this now is taking pictures. It really, it wasn't a cutscene there, but we have a few things to take pictures of, as you can see. We're going to take pictures of them all, but then we have something else to do at the end after we've took the pictures at this point, at this place, and then we're going to go somewhere else to take more pictures. Just telling you about the mission, I guess. I, I keep saying I guess all the time. Why do I do that? And I don't want to say I guess, I guess, I guess all the time. This is pissing people off, I guess. There I said it again, and I didn't really mean to say it. Sorry. But here we have a boat. Fascinating. My sensors detect a Wi-Fi link to that boat. It must be piloted by computer. I so know what song I'm going to sing when I get on the boat. Some of you probably know that as well. But yeah, that was the boat. Time to pick pictures of something else. I think this is time for John Bizon's house, which is the big thing here. Which looks very weird. Weird. John Bizon's house with like a big moose at the front. John Bizon's house. The lair of the beast, the dead of evil, the epicenter of ecological destruction. Why did I even say a moose? That's not a moose, that's a bull. I, get, I think it's a bull. Yeah, I think it's a bull. So, yeah. But, uh, what's taking pictures now? I think this is a sawmill. Uh, little things. That we're going to take pictures of. Guess we'll do that. And oh, don't get it. Okay, good. Yeah, it's these blades that we're going to take pictures of now. Be careful. Those saw blades look particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. And people are talking outside my window. Right outside my window. Like, one of my neighbors runs like a taxi firm thingy so there are some people working with the taxis outside my window talking right now which is quite annoying I don't like that they work with the taxis because it's very annoying with all the taxis chiming by at the middle this of the night and country, all, right. all the time and blocking our view when we're sitting at the terrace okay, and I just talked it. over badly there Sorry about that if you really and would that like to know to what Bentley said. He just talked a little bit about the bears. It's not that important. It's not really that important for the story anyways. 
and the most important thing about this is the story. But what we're going to do now is actually break into the lighthouse. Uh, don't worry, it's actually quite easy breaking into the lighthouse. Actually got two ways you can get in. I'm going to go um, around the lighthouse and then break into the lighthouse at first. Because, yeah, I just feel like going this way, around the lighthouse first. So this is one out of two things you can... Uh, one out of two ways you can get into the lighthouse. The other one is... Of course, uh, gliding over there. That's the battery charger, but where's the battery arpeggio's coming to pick up? And now we got this annoying spinner to take a pictures off. It spins really fast, and it's really hard to get a picture of it. So this is hard. Just looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. And the front door. I was right. The entrance is barred from the inside. Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. And get a picture of old John B. Song. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, Sean. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. See you in part 39. Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the Clockwork Talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. 